Hey, it's Matt, and uh, I just shot a gun for the first time with John John here. Why don't you tell him what it is? It's a Glock. The light Glock. It's a 40 cal. And it kills people. But we didn't kill people. No. We killed a paper target. We killed the shit out of it. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. I'm still shaking a bit. Keep a few of the casings. Neato. Alright, uh, let me grab our target here. I also say all the good shots for John John. Is that coming up well? Yeah, both of these were mine. I got a few decent ones. That one right, right, right there. That one, that was it. Yeah. And I got two on the chin. You got in the neck. You got to go down with it. <laughs> that could be a chin. Got yeah, a chin, neck. I tried to give him my ball, but he got a fish. But yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll ever own a gun. I'm still quite scared of them, but you know, I had a good time. It costs like 50 bucks for a box of ammo and both of us to shoot, which I thought was kind of. It is really expensive. Yeah, it's an expensive hobby. But we live in a town that only had one gun range, so oh, yeah. I live in a town. Yeah. Uh, there's probably safer ways for me to spend that fifty dollars, but hey, why not? One of those things you gotta do at least once, I guess. We had some male bonding time. Yeah. Pulled a lot of bullets. That was. Uh, what else can we say about it? <coughs> There was a kind of a hot chick behind the counter when we were looking at shotguns. Yeah, she was wearing some booty shorts. And it's raining outside. Yeah. She's like a Leah. <laughs> Guns and buns, man. Uh, no. No? No. <laughs> we said no walking up the stairs on guns and buns. No. Oh no, that was guns before buns. Yeah. Either way. Yeah, buns always go before guns. Most of together. But yeah, I don't think I'd ever own a gun, but I could see myself going to the shooting range more. Maybe when I have more money. I'll own the guns. Yeah. Alright, I guess that's all we can really say on this video, so let's wrap it up. Bye. Bye. Hello, it's Matt with a very quick fucking update. Uh, I just got back from Murphy's Pearl, been there the last few days, bought a lot of shit. Gotta be at work in an hour and get a shower and all that shit, so let's just jump into it. Uh, got a package in the mail. Pretty big, not heavy. Not entirely sure what it is. I think I know what it is, but the thing I'm thinking is from uh, the UK, so I'm not 100%. So let's see if I'm surprised. Oh, shit. That is a lot of packing peanuts. That's totally unnecessary. <laughs> Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. It is the limited edition Anchor Bay 10 for a Hellraiser 1 and 2. Number 19,581. I think it's out of 50,000. I'm not entirely sure. Looks pretty. Number limited. Bullshit. Pop it open. Comes in these little cases. I'm not a fan of that, but hey. Whatever. And Hellraiser's on the back. No reason to do that. Maybe there'd be some cool stuff in there, but whatever. Some extra goodies. Alright, moving on. Alright. Uh. Shit. I went to a fuckload of fucking stores. And by a fuckload, I mean about three. But I bought a lot of stuff there. Most of the movies were like two or three bucks. So I'm just gonna run through them real quick. You on? didn't have it, now I do. It's not as common as part two. I've seen part two in a lot of stores, but I haven't seen the first part. So I bought it. John Carpenter's Big Trouble, Little John. Jack Burton. Beverly Hills Ninja. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. 
Bullshit. Funny as hell. Watched it about 5 in the morning today when I was drunk as hell. Space Ghost Season 1. Funny as hell. Doesn't have the episode with Buster for Rhymes. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Clue the movie. Fucking awesome. Tim Curry at his best. Well, I'm not going to say that, but it's good. Hot fuzz. Didn't own it. Now I do. Cool. Funny. Hilarious. Violent. Ah. Uh, Dead Alive. Didn't own it. I don't know why. Because I'm bad at what I do. Peter Jackson, Dead Alive. Full server for most blood in the scene. Puppet Master 1 through 3. Not that interested, but I saw it for 2 bucks. Dr. Cat Season 1. Hilarious. Nostalgia. Part of my childhood. Good times. Saving Silverman. Fucking hilarious. Great comedy with Jack Black and, uh... Oh, what's the fuck? Steve's on. Jason James. Fuck. Not even halfway through them. Okay, uh, Natural Born Killers. Didn't know it. I do. Scream Trilogy on DVD. Figured I should probably buy them before I buy the fourth part. Even though I've seen them all. Ones with a bonus disc. Don't even know what's on it. Guide to Recognizing Your Saints. Robert Downey Jr. Probably good. Haven't seen it. Forkies. Classic. Had to buy it. Two dollars. Rolls of Attraction. Starring Dawson from Dawson's Creek. Based on a book written by Brady Snell. It's the same guy that did American Psycho. So it's probably pretty good. Look at it. Just scoring the bet. Got a dude crush on just scoring the bet. But it's a good movie. Got Jeff Bridges as a blind guy. Looking cool. Are there any more DVDs in this bag? Doesn't look like it. I'll probably find one later and start kicking myself in the ass. Finally, my copy of Reanimator came in with the syringe highlighter. It's in pretty fucked up condition. Because apparently that's what like new means on Amazon these days. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you've already seen me bitch about this. But, hey, what are you going to do? I guess I should have bought it new, huh? Alright, this has been Matt. Uh, I gotta go get a shower, shave, shit, go to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.